Well, the number of migrants crossing the southern border remains high. As we get deeper into the summer months with the current daily average, get this, sitting at around 8,000. Now, the current fiscal year, which began last July and ends at the end of this month, the total number of crossings sits at one and a half million. News Nation senior national correspondent Brian Enton, he is live for us tonight, and the Department of Homeland Security reportedly has a plan to give border towns some relief from this massive influx of migrants. Yeah, Kelsey, you know there's that saying that every state is a border state. Well, this really uh, seems to back that up. You just saw the numbers, uh, staggering numbers at the border, a record number of people crossing illegally, and uh, they've got to go somewhere. They can't stay in those border cities. There is now uh, a new report out that the U.S. Department of Homeland Security uh, is considering busing these migrants to cities uh, throughout the country. This new report is coming from Republican Congressman uh, August Fluger of Texas. He sent a letter to DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas saying he was made aware by law enforcement in San Angelo, Texas, that CBP is scouting locations. That's how he put it, scouting locations to bus migrants. The congressman says he is concerned that that city and many others just simply cannot handle the influx. <clears throat> if you've been following our reports, this really comes as no surprise to us. It's not just buses, but we've been tracking migrant flights for months. These are flights paid for by the federal government that take migrants, mostly unaccompanied minors. You see some video there that we got, that we got to various cities around the country. We tracked flights from El Paso, Texas to Jacksonville, Florida, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and Westchester, New York, and many other among many other places. Uh, they leave daily from places like El Paso, and they take the migrants to to shelters and CBP facilities uh, in other states. What's also interesting in all of this, it is, is not just the federal government moving these migrants. Texas Governor Greg Abbott has directed buses full of migrants to Washington, D.C., uh, some of those buses that you see there. He says that he is trying to send a message to President Biden that the border is out of control. So far, Kelsey, uh, the Biden administration has not commented on these new reports that they might be considering uh, these bus routes. That really also comes as no surprise to us uh, as we've been following these migrant flights and asking for specific information about where the flights are going, how often they're taking off and landing. Uh, they haven't given us specific information either. Kelsey. Brian, great reporting. One and a half million migrants crossing the southern border in the last year. That is such a shocking number. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.